Now, today I'm going to share with you the ultimate French party trick there is when it comes to snacking. Now, if you have pretty dinner drinks, or an aperitif as we call it in France, and you want to make something from scratch to impress the guests, then the savory palmy is the ticket. Three ingredients, 10 minutes of your time, and it can be made in advance. Like this, you can spend less time in the kitchen and more quality time with your friend. Let's go. And now let's look at the ingredients. As I said, three simple ingredients. You get a pre-roll, pre-made puff pastry, green pesto, and red pesto. And if you were thinking that French people always make everything from scratch, it is not always the case, especially for these kinds of gatherings and aperitif. It's all about making something nice and quick. But most important, it is done from scratch. And now let's see how to make it. And now let's make the snack. This is the easiest thing on the planet. So I've got my rectangle of puff pastry here. Rectangle is the best shape that you want. And I've got my two stars of pesto. All what you need to do, okay, is to take one half of the dough and spread this with the red pesto and the other half with the green. So I'm gonna start here with the red. Perfect. One half is done. I'm gonna repeat the exact same thing with the green. Now you will note that I leave a little edge free around because we have to do some rolling. Okay, so now we do the same on the other half with the green pesto. And look at this, how simple that is. Now I know this is not a typical French thing. People will say, oh, this is not French, it's using pesto, but this is not about being French or whatever. We're just having drinks here. So the extra touch, if you want a bit of fresh, freshly grated Parmesan on top, you don't have to do this, that's just me, just a bit of extra flavor. And now we have to roll the pastry like this. Does it have to be perfect? Absolutely not. I'm going to try to do the best I can. Okay, so you're going to fold the edges. It's the beginning that's the, that's the, the hardest here. And then try to fold. And what you want to do here is to roll the whole thing roughly to reach kind of the middle. And then you're going to do the same with the other half. Now make sure your pastry is cold enough so that you can work with this. Okay, and look, this is it, we're done. Now let's face it, I've been a little bit sloppy here, but what you're gonna do here is to put this in the freezer if you want to use it straight away. So I'm gonna cut this in half here to make it manageable. Okay, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna roll everything or pack everything into a little parcel. So if you want to use it straight away, you put this in the freezer for 10 minutes to firm up. Okay, so it's gonna be easier to slice at the end. Otherwise, you can leave this in the fridge until you're ready to serve, okay? So when you're ready, I'll show you exactly when it's to happen. It's just slicing and cooking and you're done. As soon as the rolls are ready, you're gonna take your knife and slice one centimeter wide little strips like this, okay? So you detach them, it's a bit messy, and you repeat the process for each of those. And you do both of the roll, same thing, another one here, and we're done, you continue. So before I put this into the oven, this is the overview. You can do one tray, another tray. You can keep this in the fridge as well and be it ready, you know, when the guests are coming. And all what you need to do is to put this in the oven. As I said, 15 minutes is the guideline, but depending on your oven, you know, it may vary. So what we're going to wait for is for everything to puff off. Now it's important to leave some space in between. I don't know how big they're going to grow, but you have to be very careful because puff pastry, it can really suddenly take a lot of space on your tray. So let's put this in the oven and see how it looks like. And here we are. So once the savory palmi are ready, immediately you scoop them out of the oven, put them on a plate like here, make a presentation, and they are ready to be eaten. Now remember, this, what I've done, is really what people in France at home make when they're really short on time, they just use supermarket stuff, and it's extremely fast. If you want to make the gourmet version, you're gonna have to make your own pesto from scratch. That is always gonna improve the taste. That's the first thing. For the cooking, I've tried two methods here. The first one was to put the palmier as they are, without any covering, and cook them for, it took actually 16 to 18 minutes. What I found with that technique is that, as you can see on the small one, at the bottom of the plate, the filling tends to burn slightly, and I was not really happy with this. So what I've done the second time around is that I've placed a piece of foil very loosely on top of the palmier straight from the beginning, not halfway through the cooking, straight from the beginning. And that has really trapped the heat and really improved the cooking without burning the filling. And these are the three that you can see on the top very clearly, I wanted to show you. The green one and the two red one with these nice shapes. And the filling is just 
spot on. And this is my recommendation. If you do those, put a piece of foil in there, just on top, and honestly, you're gonna get something much better. But that's it for this week, how to make an easy snack with drinks. You can call your friend and you're gonna be bringing this to the table and say, hey, I made this from scratch and everybody is gonna be impressed, okay? I'll see you all next week anyway for another French cooking video on the French Cooking Academy. Take care all and have fun for this lovely sunny day. Bye-bye. Yeah.